Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to call an SQLite database with Python. Now uh, the first thing what we need, we need the SQLite module uh, in Python and that means import SQLite 3. That module is necessary. So the th second thing what we need is uh, I need the path. Where does my SQLite database lie? And my database is here. It is in uh, drive E, demo sector, and there's my there's my database. Oh, I did a misspelling here. It should be uh, F1, F1 data. Right, so now what I do, I just copy, let me copy the path, and my database called F1 data. So I just go in here and create a variable called DB path, and that would be uh, the, the path to my database, and F1 data uh, dot db and obviously uh, when I use backslashes in strings especially backslashes for um, for paths I have to double them up because as you see here slash backslash f is an escape character and what I need is to backslash backslash the backslash in order to have Python uh, see that as a path that this backslash is a path right so I've done the path. Now what I'm gonna need is the connection. So I go db connection. And that db connection is basically that SQLite 3 module. And what I need is the connect method or connect function. And that connect function needs uh, one element and that's basically the db path. Now obviously I could have written the, the, the path in here directly, but I prefer to do it step by step so you know it's much clearer. Right, so now I've got a, did the connection. Now what I need is to create a cursor. Now what's a cursor? The cursor in a database is basically something similar to the cursor in a Word document. You know, it shows you where you are. And here in this case, the cursor is basically the guy or the or the variable or the thing uh, um, executing your code and uh, um, in most cases also getting your code. So, um, so my db cursor would be nothing else but my db connection, and that would call the method uh, cursor. So that's 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 my cursor. That's it. So now I come to uh, the point where I need to uh, execute some SQL, and that's the content of my database. And I have here a table called drivers. And I wish to call that table. So let me go in here and go to execute SQL. So basically, if I'm if I'm using SQL, I would go like this: select all from drivers. Okay. And so, and if I run that, that would give me the drivers. And exactly that SQL I wish to uh, uh, execute via Python. So I just let me copy that and go back to my script. And now what I do is like I say db cursor, uh, d, uh, db cursor, and that would execute uh, the, the SQL I just I just copied, which is basically that. Right. So now I got that. Now the final step is just I need to put the data in some variable. So found data is basically uh, db cursor. And basically, uh, fetch all because I, I need I want to fetch instead of fetch one with fetch one you would get like uh, you know one one row I need all rows so I just go fetch all and that's it. So now all I need to do now is just basically print the data that is or print basically found data and let's try it out and see what we get. Let me just. Uh, Close the spaces here so I have more space at the bottom. So, so I'm just going to print the data string and found data and save that. And let's do some more space here and let's go. And you see now I have um, communicated with the with the database and I have my rows and, and what uh, that found data is basically a list and that list contains tuples the list is basically the whole found data the whole thing whereas each tuple is basically a row so this first tuple here 
is basically the first row of the first driver with all his details. So one Hamilton 44, that's all the first uh, row. And you see here that ends and now comes the second row and so on. So each row is a tuple. So I can now, you know, clean up my data. In, in, let's say I'm just interested in listing the, the, the first names and, the, and, the, and the, the surnames. So what I do, I just can loop now for I in range length of found data. And that would print me a following string name. And then I just add uh, the following, and that is basically found set, uh, found data, and found data, row i, and then what do I need of row i? Well, I need I don't need all elements. I just need the zero, one, two, three, four. I need the fourth element. So of row i, the oops, the fourth element, and that would now print me of each row uh, the fourth element, i.e. the first name. If I save that and if I run it, you will see now I'm getting all the first names. And the same thing, uh, I can, you know, enhance that and say, okay, now I need the surnames. So surnames would be element number five in each tuple. And, you know, what's, what I need here is a, is a sort of a space between the first names and, and, and surnames. So I just add that as a string. And there you go. And let me clean that up. And here we go. We have now uh, all the names or all the first, uh, first, uh, sorry, the first names and surnames of each of these uh, uh, rows instead of having the whole thing. And actually, this was just done for a test. I can comment it out. And now, if I run it, I get my data cleaned up. Okay, with just the data that I want, i.e. Um, you know, uh, the first names and the surnames.